there's probably a reason you haven't seen solar-powered cars on your commute yet. As evidenced by the ongoing World Solar Challenge, right now solar vehicles are designed for efficiency and pretty much nothing else. But drawing power from the sun is getting more popular. We have this, this handy fusion reactor in the sky called the sun. Okay, <laughs> You don't have to do anything, it just works. <laughs> Elon Musk wants to put the whole U.S. on solar, starting with Tesla's Powerwalls, which are giant batteries that charge with solar power. It makes sense. Solar power can replace a lot of what we traditionally use fossil fuels for, from driving to flying. Solar Impulse 2 is attempting a global circumnavigation using just the power derived from the solar cells on its wings. Not exactly a 747 yet, though. So how about plain old electricity? Well, you can get laptops with integrated solar charging built to order, or use any of the solar chargers already on the market to run anything with a USB port. This extends to the ultimate in redundant niche products. Solar-powered cat toys and solar-powered robots for cleaning your larger solar panels. Solar power works even better in space than it does on Earth because there's no interference from the atmosphere. The International Space Station, it runs on the sun. NASA has even toyed with the idea of harnessing energy in orbit and beaming it back down to Earth via microwave or laser. Nothing has come of the concept yet, though, because at the moment, it's still not cost-effective. <sighs> Guess we're stuck with plain old rooftop solar panels for now. For Newsy, I'm Micah Sargent.